cells have hundreds or thousands of these mitochondria. These basically used to be bacteria. 1.2 to 1.5 billion years ago. The only thing that existed on the planet were unicellular life forms. And then the bigger bacterium that was a fermenting cell ended up engulfing the small one. Somehow, for some reason that we don't quite understand, the incorporation of the mitochondria into the cell enabled complex multicellular life forms. So it enabled cells to start to talk to each other and complex organisms to arise. They're not all beans like the textbook shows oh, you. Yeah. They're actually quite elongated like this one. And, and they, they move. move. Yes. Wow. So this one, you know, can move and then basically these probably move toward one another and wow. then and then came in contact. And you can actually see this as they're called Christi. This is where they're in the, the mitochondria respire that's where oxygen is consumed the reason we breathe you know the reason we have lungs and that we breathe as organism is to bring oxygen here in these Christi and we found that they actually become a line between the mitochondria people call this kiss and run so they come they kiss each other they exchange something we don't really know what they're saying to each other and then they dissociate and then they, they continue moving the heart is the organ of the body that has the most mitochondria and that's where also where we see the most Christi alignment and you can see the dramatic degree of alignment between the Christi. It's quite beautiful. So you notice there are different shades of blue? Yeah. That's because they're qualitatively different. So every mitochondrion is unique. They have their unique shape, unique DNA sometimes. Sometimes the, some mitochondria acquire changes that are proper to this mitochondria and uh, they probably generate different signals. And I think we should keep an open mind that we don't know all of the signals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is intentionally vague. So you don't know why that's happening? No. You can imagine there's, you know, a hundred different signals that are, right. you know, or thousands of signals here that the, the cell is perceiving that the mitochondria are exposed to. And right. then together they generate a coherent signal right. that, you know, makes sense, is intelligible to, to the cell nucleus. Just using these three colors, like a sea of these three colors kind of blended together coming in over here. And so then the colors, you know, the, then you can see that they're sort of dividing them out. Each one's taking like one color. But which, like in a kind of, almost like rain or something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All parallel like that for each of the six colors going down. Or we could kind of just use one color. Yes, one that is not.